Welcome, guys. I'm excited to be here. I'm with the man, the myth, the legend, Mark Lack, branding marketing expert, someone I've known for the last four or five years, one of my closest friends in the industry. And real quick, before we dive in, if you share this video and comment below where you're watching from, wherever you're watching from, comment below and share this, we're going to send you a copy of both our books signed to a lucky winner. So whoever's watching, share this and uh, comment below where you're watching from. We're excited to add some value. So we were just talking. Mark has the, we'll start with this. Mark has the craziest, funniest picture. Is it your high school uh, ID? High school. ID. He looks I'll like- I'll post it in the comments of all of this. So, and then, you have and then to the see video this guy picture. will cut it in post. But you look <laughs> like you're mad at the world and like you're a hoodlum. Who, who were you? in that picture. I'm just curious. This is not even for the camera. There's actually, I, I think I saw some people's names pop up on here who know me from back then, so they can vouch. They know. Um, I was just nervous, depressed, you know, had no confidence, uh, was class clown, got in trouble, made, made no money. Uh, I just didn't have a vision for my life. And uh, I feel like a lot of the dark energy that I got from back then, from trying to like prove people that I could actually be successful, is one of the reasons why I've made millions of dollars in my 20s is because I remember that negative feeling of being like not cool and- Or not good enough. Or not or like good enough. I felt like an and outcast. Like, when you failed in school, that was the only way people thought that you had a future. And so not being cool, not doing well in school, it was just like not having a bright future. And so for me, a lot of my success uh, has been fueled by dark energy of being like, fucking watch, yeah. you know what I mean? Watch what happens and uh, you know, now I've learned to balance light energy and, and dark energy, but that's who I was back then. You guys can check the comments, obviously I'm live He's right gonna now. post this picture post and you'll be. It, and you guys will see, if you haven't, hopefully you've already seen it, it's hilarious. Uh, when I, the reason I bring this up is, I've known you for five, five years now, four or five years, and I've, I've only known you as like the positive, the go-getter, the marketing expert. You've been hired by some of the biggest people in the world. We'll, we'll talk about that later. But I've never seen you look this mad. So I was like, I didn't even know I that was, person. I was pissed back then. So we're gonna show this picture. <laughs> Comment what you think of this picture. Yeah, I wanna hear it. It's okay, but, I, do, I uh, encourage laughter. I was I'm also good. the I've kid. I've accepted who I was back then. I was also the kid, Mark, who all the other parents would tell their kids not to hang with me. Bro, that was me. I so was it's, that guy. it's interesting how we related and connected right away when we met. Did you use dark energy as well? Hundred percent. Kind of like Michael Jordan says, like if you, you know, like he was the last guy picked on basketball, yeah. and he's like, I'm gonna be the best in the world. Mm -hmm. And so I use the dark energy to become like, you need successful. that. You need the hunger. But Kobe yeah. calls it the Black Mamba too. The Black Mamba. So yeah. and, and the town I grew up in was six thousand two hundred and forty people. I looked it up a couple days ago, and. That's the population. The average income was $28,000. And for me, I had no goals of being a millionaire. I, I, I would have bet money that I was never gonna become a millionaire. I didn't know any. And I would have bet that I wasn't even gonna make six figures because I didn't know people that were making six figures. Which the title of these videos, at least mine on Facebook Live, is how to go from six figures a year to six figures a month to six figures a day, which both of us have had six, six figure, figure days. days. <laughs> So it's how crazy. did we go from like that dark past, me working construction, uh, valeting cars, selling things on eBay, to reaching millions of people every month, building an eight-figure brand, becoming a best-selling author, selling 400,000 copies. 400,000 copies of this book. Speaking in <laughs> Dubai and Tokyo, I've spoken with all kinds of people, Gary Vaynerchuk, Eric Thomas, Scooter Braun, Mel Robbins, Les yeah. Brown, spoken with all kinds of amazing speakers on stage. And it's crazy to think about the past and how we got from there to here. And we wanna share these tools. We've really been thinking about what things have took us from being broke to six figures, which is a great accomplishment. If you hit that, that's great, but there's a lot more potential to six figures a month to six figures a day. And here's the crazy part, maybe you can agree, but I, I remember when I thought six figures a year was a lot, and now having made six figures in a day, I notice how six figures in a day is nothing. It's so crazy how your, your mindset shifts. Your standards change. Your standards change because six figures a year is the goal and then you make it and then six figures a month is the goal and you make it and then six figures a day is the goal and you make it and then you realize that's still nothing. Yeah. 
We, like, were, we were, and it's it's hard to hear that if you're not making money. Anyone but who it's makes a six process. figures a day or a week or a month knows what I'm talking about. Especially in business, the difference between revenue and net and profit and all that. Like you get what I'm talking about. You, it takes money to make money. That's that saying came from business. It takes money to make money. And here's the belief that I want to share with people. We had some people in our mastermind. We're here in amazing Mission Hill. I mean, the hills right outside of LA. What's this area called? It's your house. Rancho Mission Viejo. Rancho Mission Viejo. I can remember that. And we had a great mastermind today with an amazing group of entrepreneurs, but some of them are hitting the three, four, five million dollar a year mark. And almost every one of them today that are hitting the million dollar mark said when they were younger, they didn't fully believe they can do it. We were talking about the Super Bowl MVP Edelman or Edelman. Yeah, yeah. When he was in college, they asked him if he ever thought he'd be Super Bowl MVP. And he said he didn't even think he would make the NFL. So a common misconception that I see is all these gurus promote, you gotta always believe in yourself. Yeah. When you were looking at that picture of you when you were 17, 18, did you fully think when you were insecure and, and depressed that you were gonna make millions of dollars? Definitely not. And neither did I. It, it, it was something obviously that I wanted and I think I wanted but it But did you truly reasons. believe you think? No, I think it was, I think it was uh, false confidence. I think, that's the way to, me. I think that's the way to put at it because I think what a lot of the times is, uh, but here's the crazy thing. I think you have to have false confidence yeah. to become successful because where are you getting the confidence? You have no reference point. You've unless, never got results. Uh, unless You've never made money. somehow you grew up in a family where your dad's rich, your brother's successful, and you have a you have a reference point of, of a lineage of success, and then you can say like it's in my blood. But like, I think for most people, I almost think you have to have the false confidence and false belief that like, I can do it even though there's nothing proving that I can. And, and I got a lot of that from reading books from people like Oprah Winfrey and a million other people hearing think, their think stories. and grow rich yeah. and hearing how their story and where they came from was astronomically worse than mine and they became successful in their own way or a billionaire. And so I think- Gave you false confidence. Their stories gave me confidence. And I think there's power in that. So if you're sitting here watching this and you're thinking, and if you think in your head that there's no way you can make a million dollars, maybe you're making 20, 30, 40 K a month and you're like getting to a hundred K a month is tough. You don't fully need to have real confidence. You just have to have the right roadmap and the right network and understand you're going to get there if you actually follow the right people. So the belief's this, not enough. No. Belief's not I know enough. a lot of people that believe that they're going to do big things, but they never take action. Because there's people who believe it, but they don't take the right action and they never get it. And there's people who never believed it, but they took the, the right, right action and they sure. got it. So action trumps belief all day would be the, uh, the takeaway from this is that the action, you can believe it all day. You can put it on your fucking vision board. You can do all of the stuff. You can read the affirmations. You can create the confidence and the certainty, but it's nothing without the action. And that's the point. 100%. So here's why we wanted to create this video. We're going to give you a couple reasons that we've really dissected. We've been obsessed with entrepreneurship and what's with what's working now, not 30 years ago. We want to give you a couple reasons why we feel 97% of society will never become millionaires. And this is not a number that's random. There's 11.8 million millionaires in the US. And we got to talk about that real quick. If you have only $1 million, that's not a lot of money. And I don't mean that in a disrespectful way for people who have a lot less than that. But once you get to a million dollars in your bank or your net worth or whatever, it's not a lot. If your business makes a million dollars, that's not a lot in revenue. And so a million is not what it used to be, which is why we talk on here about the importance of six figure days. Because six figure days is when I believe you're finally starting to make financial money. Freedom. You're finally starting to get financial freedom. Um, six figures a month should be the goal though. I think you got to get to multiple six figures a month, a hundred grand to 500 grand a month is like the sweet spot. We're going to give you the tactics on how to do that. But if you catch yourself, like, I don't know if I can do that. You don't fully have to believe is what we're saying. If you don't think you can do it, just look at the photo I'm going to post in the comments of both of these. And you guys will be like, that guy went on to do six figures a month, a week, a day. Um, here's what I want to share and then we'll dive into some tactics because we, there's a lot of videos out there promoting things and promising things and sharing fluff. We want to actually give you real tactics you can take with you to help you get the six figures a day. But what I realized is you can't get to seven figures doing just more of what got you six figures and getting six figures a day doesn't take more effort than six figures 
a month. Here's the scary thing that, that I had to realize. Being in a small town, most people just work hard for their money, but when they stop working, the money stops. And, and that's, not, that's not good. If you only make more money, when you work more hours, that's a trap. And that's something that's very scary. You just have a high paying job. So as entrepreneurs, we have to figure out ways to duplicate ourselves, to build systems and to share. I'm going to share some of these things, but I want people to know that there's 1,700 new millionaires created every single day in the U.S. Every day. 600,000 new millionaires a year. There is no that's shortage. Just in America. There's no shortage of money. Yeah, yeah. You have to understand if you're watching this, wherever you are, there's no shortage of money. There's just a shortage of people being willing to invest in themselves and being willing to become more valuable to actually make money work for them and become more valuable so the marketplace pays them, which is what we're gonna talk about. And, and on that real quick, there's hedge funds that have about $800 billion sitting in bank accounts looking for opportunities to invest. Literally, hedge funds have $800 billion sitting in them looking for opportunities, technologies, and businesses to invest in. So there's not a shortage of money. There's a shortage, I believe, of opportunity. And right now, one of the biggest opportunities I see is people learning how to leverage social media to build a personal, personal brand, brand and to then attach that personal brand to a business that has products and services that match and align with the problem your personal brand solves. So if you have a personal brand that solves the problem of health and wellness, helping businesses get leads, you create content around that, then you either have your own business with products that solve that problem, or you align yourself with a business that has products that solve that problem. So we'll we'll go down that rant in a little bit. I wanna, before we dive into tactics about how to make six figures a month and then a day, let's talk about the biggest reasons why we feel based on our experience, why most people will never become millionaires. With so much opportunity and people becoming millionaires every day, it's still the stat is, 97% will struggle and 3% will make millions. I wanna make sure the people watching actually are the ones that become the 3%. The first thing I see in entrepreneurship, and tell me if, I, if, if you see this too, yeah. people are Superman. They have Superman syndrome. They wanna do everything themselves. They because, don't wanna hire Because no one can anybody. do it better than better them. Better than them, that's the common excuse. <laughs> but they're broke, yeah. but they're broke. No one can do it better than me, but I'm broke. It's like, but billionaires do nothing. Yeah. Billionaires do nothing. Richard Branson said his goal of his companies is to delegate 99% so he could focus on the vision. So here's what you gotta realize. Six figure earners are usually bad delegators. So you have to figure out what things you shouldn't be doing, what things you can't do, and what things you don't wanna do. So let's give some context. My philosophy, Mark, is if, if someone can do it 80% as good as me, Bro, and, half and it's is not good. my strength, half I get good. rid of it. Yeah, yeah. I just get rid of it. So you have to understand, if you're doing things that you're not an expert at, that you love, that is your strength, that's your unique ability, you're selling yourself short. Another key activity here is figuring out everything in your business that just maintains. If it just maintains, it should be delegated, systemized, or deleted, right? Everything that produces growth in your business that actually are the big opportunities, the partnerships, the relationships, whatever it is, whether it's branding, sales, advertising, everything that produces huge growth, you should be focusing on. If you're only doing things that maintain your business, you're not gonna grow quick and you'll be stuck at six figures. And once again, we're not dissing people that make six figures, but if you can make, I said something once and I can't believe I said it, but when I thought about it, it's actually partly true. I remember saying this, it was harder for me to grind out my first six figures than my first seven. Which I remember you and I've talked about and I remember it's, people in the comments- It was get, harder. They were getting mad. They were like, it's not harder to make a hundred grand than it is to make a million. And the only people that I know, at least 90% of the people, I can't speak for the whole world, but 90% of people who make millions know that when you're making six figures a month, a week, and a day, that have, shit's easy. You have the systems. That's easy. You're not really doing anything. Like I said, when when I had my first six figure day, I wasn't actually doing anything that day. I don't think I worked at all. I might have checked my phone a bunch, like to see all the sales coming in and smile, you know, with my wife and be like, "It's working. <laughs> the machine is working." <laughs> but like, I wasn't working. Notice what I said. Physically, yeah. the machine is working, the team is working, the marketing is working, but I'm not working. I worked my butt off to build the machine, the pages, the funnel, the campaigns, the this, the optimization, the webinar, the blah blah. blah. <clears throat> but the machine works, and I think for the people who think that making a hundred grand is harder than making a million, it's true. Yeah. 
It's like a hundred thousand dollars is because you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. And that's it's, how it's I look a, at it. It's like grit, hard work, hustle, grind. Like we were talking yeah. to, to someone today. It's like Gary Vaynerchuk's followers. Yeah. It's like, like hustle, hustle, grind. hustle. Grind. It's not, that, that's not sustainable. So you can make yeah. six figures is like not knowing what you're doing, grit, hustle, random action, no strategy, but it's, it's easy to get the six figures with just a ton of hustle. It's nearly impossible to get the seven figures with random hustle. One of my biggest breakthroughs too, going from six to seven, one of my biggest ones was you don't have to have the answer. I used to bang my head against the wall like I have to have the answer and I would study free stuff, I would do all these things and when I started getting around higher level people and I started getting around a network of people that were higher level than me, I just asked them what they would do and they always solved my problem. So if you have a network of people, like if you have a mentor, you have people around you, you're in a mastermind, you don't ever have to have the answer. Like we had four or five people today that one thing we taught them that we've gone through that we failed at is gonna make them an extra half a million, yeah. million dollars because we've already been through it, right? And we somebody did make about a half a million dollars from implementing one of those things. 100%, yeah. and lit one of our, one of our uh, members from GCIC is in Dubai right now, living it up, and her business is making almost, not a million yet, almost a million dollars while she's gone. When she first talked to us, she was at like 70 or 80K, struggling, working 100 hours a week. Now she makes that a month on vacation. On vacation, it's amazing. Yeah. Almost a month, she's almost making 100K a month. But it took her a <clears throat> couple, couple, of years. A couple yeah. years to get it in place. Yep, 100%. So I think the third thing that I've seen is six-figure people, even people, by the way, if you're not at six figures yet, like something's going on. You're, you're not around the right people. You, you are not investing in yourself. Or hopefully you're in year one. Yeah, maybe year one. Which is the only excuse, in my opinion, and it's not a disrespectful thing. It just means you've either- Well, you're in the wrong business you're or you've settled. Wrong, yeah, you're following the wrong blueprint. You've settled, you've got limiting beliefs. You're in the wrong business model, selling the wrong product or service. Something's happening if you're in year two, three or four and you're still not making at least 100 grand. Because the goal here from this is for us to conceptually cover some quick things that will help you get to six figure months and days. Here's the last thing, they don't invest right. They, they, they invest to, or, or they're saving just to save. We were taught at a young age, save, save, save. That's a fear-based tactic. I, I don't even think I learned about investing, Mark, until I was like 21. I never learned one thing about investing in school. It was always like, save money. That's a fear-based tactic. What I see millionaires do, and I was, for three years, I was obsessed with like watching people that were successful, the millionaires, the, the people that were at the peak of their game. And I realized they invested in four things consistently that most of society never invested in. I've, I've never really shared it. It's gonna be in my new book coming out, but this is the four things. You tell me if you invest in these things. So first thing is back in themselves. Of course. Yes. Back in themselves to cut their learning curve in half, to sharpen their perspective, to get the best possible training, marketing, personal branding tools. You said today we were talking about what we're grateful for, what we're excited about. One thing he's grateful for <clears throat> is the lifestyle, his wife, his dog Biscuit, who was running all over the place today, but also the internet and being able to create passive income from the machine he's created. But he said, what is he excited about? Going to Paris? Wait, Paris and Italy. <clears throat> and Italy. Yeah. and making six figures while he's gone. Per week. And then I interrupted and I said, yeah, but how much have you invested in yourself in the last 10 years? Because when someone says, oh my gosh, a young person in his 20s in a million dollar home is going to Paris and Italy and gonna make six figures while he's gone, I can barely pay my bills. He's invested $600,000 in himself. Just education. Just education. So think about that. How much have you invested in yourself? How much have you bet on yourself? Most people bet on sports games, they bet on football games, casinos, they bet on everything except themselves. So he bet on himself, which is why he can do that now. So that's the first thing, bet on yourself and invest in yourself. I've done it, I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars. Second thing is investing back in your business. Most 100%. people don't invest back in their business. It's, it's mind-boggling. They try to get too, they try to get fancy too quick. And so you feel like, Instead of investing the money back into my business that no one's gonna see, I gotta buy the car, I gotta buy the watch, yep. I gotta buy the thing, I gotta get fancy 
so that people will think I'm more successful than I really instead am. Instead of investing in the business. Instead of putting it yeah. back in the business, actually getting successful, so then you can be fancy when it's not actually scary. So what I mean is if buying the car and the house and the watch and the vacation and the first class ticket and the bottle and the this, if that's scary to go fancy, you're like, oh God, this is $5,000. Don't tell anybody, but then on Instagram, you're like, yo, but like behind the yeah. scenes doing the payment was scary and you're like, oh my God, I better start selling stuff. I'm terrified. If going fancy is scary for you, you don't deserve to go fancy. When you want to go fancy, it should be effortless. And that's what I see. A lot of people trying to be fancy too soon. I 100% agree. I see it. I remember sitting on the way back from running a workshop with Jordan Weir as my first millionaire mentor. And I was like, I'm at like, I think 350, 400,000. And I'm like, I, how do I get to seven? And he's like, well, the only answer is investing the bottom 60, 80K into back in your business. Marketing, personnel, branding, advertising. And I'm like, oh my God, I never thought about that. And I was like, I don't know if I wanna spend that much. He's like, that's the only way. So investing back in your business. Three is investing in assets that make money work for you, whether it's angel investing, real estate. And then four is maximizing memorable experiences. I see all millionaires investing a lot of money back in experiences. When I used to go on vacation, when I, I don't, when I didn't feel like I deserved it or when I wasn't making money, I wasn't free. I still had someone kind of controlling my schedule. I was always like not wanting to go back. And I was like, oh, I missed my last day of vacation. I don't want to go back to the real world. I didn't like that. I really didn't like that feeling. So the goal I feel like is to create a life that you don't need to escape from. So when you're on vacation, you're like excited to go back home. Bro, it was like day three out of 11 in Australia and we were like, I wanna go home. So but it was like, fun, but you also wanna, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's and, the goal. And so we were literally like, <clears throat> I wanna go back to my five bedroom, five bathroom house. I wanna go back to my million dollar home. I wanna go back to my amazing view. I wanna go back And stop, to listen, listen. It, when he said that, if you were like mad, like, oh, this guy's cocky. He's in his 20s, he has an amazing house. Think about where he came from. Look at the picture below when we of him in high school. It's important to be proud and confident and excited about having an amazing lifestyle. Too many people hate on people. Oh, he's proud of his, yeah, of course he's proud. You had to work your ass off. And the only people who feel that way are insecure say, people. And I was the same way. I was that guy who would be hating on someone else's success because I didn't have it. And now that I have a version of what I've been working towards, when I see people have a version of what they've been working towards, I have so much admiration, so much love, so much gratitude, so much respect, so much humility, and just like, I know that I am nothing. I'm a speck of dust in the universe. I'm a grain of sand in the ocean. <laughs> I'm the most worthless nothing speck in the whole universe. And on the flip side, I'm the most amazing, special, unique thing ever. It's a cool mix. It's this cool mix. I think a lot of the times you feel like you're out in the ocean and you're drowning, and then all of a sudden you get pushed into a stream and you're just sitting back and it feels, yeah. like, it feels like flow. It's a different feeling. You're it's happy, a different, you're it's a different feeling. For sure. I wanna acknowledge one thing you said. You said investing in this, investing in this, investing in this, investing in this. And I wanna tell everybody on all these different cameras, I'm trying to look at it once. It's scary to invest in the beginning. When you first get the contract for the, for the business, when you first get the contract for the commercial property, when you first or get the contract a for, for mastermind, when you first get the thing, when you first send the money through, when you first see the price of the investment, when you see that, it can be scary. I'm telling you it's okay, it's normal to be scared when investing a bunch of money in yourself. Not every investment should be like, yeah! Like, you know how the, you know the people are like, it's either a fuck yes or a fuck no. And it's like, I get it. And sometimes that big investment can be scary. Like for the camera guy, he's like, oh man, my camera's like six, $7,000. It was probably scary, was it? 100%. He said 100%. Camera guy just said 100%. It was scary to invest six or $7,000 in one camera. He said it was scary, it was 100% scary. But that shows that he's committed and that up levels his confidence and that up levels his business, that up levels his brand, his quality, his service. So investing in yourself for that next thing, that mastermind, that mentor, that coach, that consultant, that real estate investment, that whatever, it can be scary in the beginning. But once you start to make enough investments and validate who you are and that you're making an investment in yourself, that's the biggest key. And we said millionaires invest, invest, invest. But I wanted to acknowledge the emotional part because yeah. the logical thing is to invest. It's easy, everyone would do it. The logical thing is to invest.
But the emotional thing is it's scary to separate the money in your bank account you worked for and to put it into a yeah. thing that might be new and to hope it comes back. So I just wanted to acknowledge that, that investing is what millionaires do, but on the emotional side, it can be scary. I talk to guys that are billionaires and 100 millionaires and they're like, oh yeah, when I put all that money into this or when I bought that basketball team or when I went in here and I was the first time doing it, it was scary seeing a billion dollars come out of my account or 100 million. It's okay to be scared when you make an investment, but you know on the other side of that is the opportunity Upside, for something potential. huge. Yep. And when you, when you really think about it, what else would you invest in than yourself? Like a car, someone else's company, clothes, like fine, but what else would you invest in besides your mind and yourself and your business and your future and your family and your lifestyle and your legacy? What else is there? It's just we're conditioned. People love to invest 40 grand in college, but they're scared to invest $1,000 in the course. It's just like our society is so backwards, but when you think about it, that's why 97% struggle and few people succeed. So let's give them the three things why we feel like can, can help people become millionaires. I think the first thing is networking and real valuable relationships. Networking is the answer. It's not about age anymore. It's not about experience. We know we both know 19, 20 year olds making a million a year and we both know broke 50 year olds. <laughs> so that's not an age. It's not age, right? Uh, it's networking and your network can cut your learning curve in half. Your network can really elevate you to a different level of thinking. Your network can cut your learning curve in half. And I think networking is the hidden gem that most people don't understand. If you can cut your learning curve in half and pay for speed and someone else has anticipation of what to do next and can save you a ton of time, money, and energy, why would you not take their advice? And I wanna say right there that I heard myself say when you said people don't really fully realize networking is the secret, I heard myself hearing a lot of other people say, well, of course I know networking, duh, but they're all six figure and, they're not networking. and low seven figure earners going, duh, networking, and it's like, no, you don't understand. The billionaire level, it's all networking. Like any level you're at, it's all network. Like I know, the, I know some of the wealthiest people on the planet and the biggest thing that they have access to that we don't, it's not money, you got money. It's relationships you'll Social never problem. get. Yep. So that's number one. Second thing, personal branding and social media. I feel like I've done well social media, but personal branding. Ed Milet, uh, Manny Koshman, and Jordan Belfort, Wolf of Wall Street, have hired him to do their personal branding. Talk about, real quick, the importance of personal branding in the new economy. Personal branding. What else is there? Personal branding to me is, it's nothing more than just making sure you're hyper aware of controlling the perception people are gonna have of you. Now the problem is, is when you go in for the job interview, when people look you up on the internet, when people go to your website, you probably done a piss poor half ass job of controlling that perception. Your marketing's not good, your messaging is whack, uh, you're following some old school template about I help people with blank. You're doing some you know, low level or version it's incongruent. of- It's incongruent. One place is something else, another's the other. Instagram doesn't match Facebook. There is no YouTube presence. You do nothing on LinkedIn. Your social media content, videos, you're non-existent on the internet. The only thing you have is a website and that's not very good. And my point for you is understanding this. When people wanna decide who they're gonna give their money to, who they trust, who they're gonna refer business to, nowadays people go on the internet. People are gonna go on the internet and they're gonna decide if they wanna work with you based on what they find on the internet. Somebody can refer you, but what's gonna happen is they're gonna look you up. And so if you don't have a good online presence, if you don't have the perception you wanna have controlled from a strategic perspective, the words, the photos, the image, the video, if you're not controlling that perception and you're not producing valuable, educational, entertaining content, you're gonna get destroyed. And so a lot of the really wealthy people that I know, billionaires, 100 millionaires, celebrities, guys crushing it in businesses you've never heard of that are all getting into this space, building their personal brand, leveraging their credibility, leveraging their results, and making millions on education with their personal brand or any product or service is because it's so fulfilling and rewarding to know that you get to change somebody else's life through education. And that's why I see a lot of these people getting into it. And it doesn't matter what your age is. We have a guy here today that, is irrelevant. that was making 5K a month. He's 20 years old when he joined us. He was only been with us six months in our mastermind. He had his He's first, on track to do like 600,000. He had his first $20,000 uh, month a couple months ago and he's 20 years old. Um, what did Greg, 
he switched to e He did 200,000 in 60 days. 60 days. So, and the third thing, so networking and relationships is number one. Personal branding and social media, understanding that. Now, if you don't understand it, you don't have to. Get around people who do. So you can cut your learning curve in half. You don't need to learn everything. Get around people who've already done that. Third thing is just sales and marketing. And here's why. Most people focus so much on the doing, creating a course, creating a business. They spend all their time on a business, but they spend no time on marketing the business. So they spend all their time on becoming a speaker, becoming an author. They spend all their time adding value and creating such amazing content, but they never market it and no one knows who they are. I know, it's sad, I know people with the worst, most unprofessional products that are making millions because they're good marketers. And I know people with the best products in the, they have the most exciting, (laughs) tactical, amazing course. And they're broke. And they're broke. (laughs) Because they can't master marketing. Marketing is the answer to going from six to seven figures, period. And I wanna say on that, when I go to these conferences, and I know you do as well, and we're on stage speaking because we get that privilege and that opportunity to be able to speak on stage to people, and I ask people, what business are you in? And they go, chiropractics, blah, 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 health insurance. Author, speaker, I'm yeah, an mortgage. author, I'm a coach, I'm in mortgage, I'm in this, I'm in that. And it's like, okay, I get it. That's the business you're in. But you're actually in the business of marketing. Marketing that service. And that's why for me, I didn't master the business of construction. I didn't master the business of real estate. I didn't master the business of anything. I mastered sales and marketing and then personal branding, which is just basically controlling perception of social media and content marketing and how that integrates with direct response and campaigns and nurturing and follow-ups so you can make millions. But my point is that I mastered a skill set, which is sales and marketing, that every business, every product, every service needs, which means I can go into your business, I can go into anyone's business, I can go into a billionaire's business, a celebrity's business, a thought leader and an influencer's business, and I can help them make millions because I mastered the number one skill set that everyone in the which world Which is why needs. Jordan Belfort just paid you. Which is why Jordan Belfort, ex- exactly. Which is why Jordan Belfort and Mandy Koshman and a ton of other huge celebrities that have hundreds of millions of dollars to their name. They've got so many people who know their name and follow them, millions of followers. And even Jordan Belfort has a movie made after him, The Wolf of Wall Street. Good movie. Great. And the point is, these people are all wanting support and guidance on their sales, their marketing, and their personal brand. And so knowing that you could have a product or a service or a business that would need help with personal branding, that would need help with sales and marketing so you can reach more people, impact more lives and make more money, obviously that's something that we're very passionate about supporting people with. We just spent, I don't know, the last nine hours breaking down on the whiteboard over here, hooking up the laptop on the television over here and just mapping out everybody's different business, problem, challenge, opportunity, frustration, marketing, sales, personal brand, social media, content strategy, and it's gonna generate millions of dollars. The the nine hours we spent today will generate millions of dollars for people. So what we're gonna do is for the first time, if you wanna continue the conversation, if you feel like, if you have a nagging pull to make a difference, to improve your business, if you're already at 10, 12, 15, 20K a month, and you're already at six figures, but you're thinking, I really do want to get to seven and I'm sick of banging my head against the wall. I'm sick of trying to figure things out on my own. I'm sick of trying to do everything myself. I really need to be a part of a network. For the first time in 13 months, we opened up the Game Changers Inner Circle for the fourth time. We've done this four times. It sells out every time. Strictly for demand. It, and we, we never have to sell it. People apply. We had six or 700 people apply last time. We just find the right people that we know for a fact that can help. So if you want to learn more, um, you can go to gcinnercircle.com slash mastermind we'll post to, it in the comments. to learn more and to check it out. But we are very excited. We've spent the last 13 months with an amazing group of entrepreneurs and every single one of them has improved their business. I don't want to say tenfold. I want to be very accurate but has improved their business. And more than that, they've built a lifestyle that they're proud of. We don't wanna help you work more hours. Anyone can do that. We wanna help you build a lifestyle on your terms that you're proud of and build a machine that makes money because of your effort so you can make money forever, not just when you put in the hours. So we're excited. 
Um, the applications close in the next week and a half. We just opened yeah. them yesterday. You're one of the first people to hear about it. Would, you might be watching this video when they're closed. Just put your email below and we'll let you know when it opens again. This will go very fast, but if you're someone that really does want to make a difference, want to master marketing, sales, personal branding, and get around super high level people, I feel like this is an absolute must. And we pride ourselves in being one of the only masterminds, one of the only intimate settings. How this came about was three or four years ago, we were sitting outside here. I don't know, two years ago, we sat outside here and then one at yeah. my house three years ago. We talked about what was the biggest breakthrough we've ever had and it was being in a mastermind. Both of us agreed that our biggest breakthrough was being in a mastermind with other high level people. And when we realized that and when we saw that we had mastered our crafts in certain areas and we felt like we hacked the system in a way. I wanna say hack the system because we're able to make seven and eight figures on our terms. We do not have a normal job. We don't have a boss. We can travel the world and love what we do. There's a lot of gurus that are making millions, but they're online promoting hustle, grind. They never show their kids. They never show their family. They're working 100 hours a week. There's even speakers, man, that, that they, they'll speak in London and they'll leave the same day. They're like, oh, forget, I gotta go right back and grind. It's like, dude, don't you want to enjoy? You just yeah. left the country and I can't stand that. Because they have to because their business isn't <clears> set up They right. have so many employees, 100%. Yeah. They know, I know so many people that are making millions of dollars, but they don't have a lifestyle they're proud of. And that, you did it all wrong then. This is a mastermind for people that value impact, influence, income, and networking at the highest level. So I'm excited, man. What, what do you feel like makes this mastermind different than all the other ones out there that are, by the way, twice or three times the price? So the difference is, is that Peter and I are actually still building our businesses and we're still producing content. We're still constantly looking at advertisements. We have our sleeves rolled up. We're constantly in the kitchen cooking. We're constantly building the business. And so for you to be making six figures or small seven figures, and you wanna know how to generate multiple seven figures and get to eight figures, then it's really the on fact your that terms. we're in it and we're doing it. Where someone who might be so far ahead, they're not even doing their business. Their team is doing their business. Guys like us come in and teach their masterminds for them because they know that's the best opportunity. And the other thing is, is that a lot of these people have produced amazing results with their business, but they don't actually know how to teach. I know, and I've interviewed over 1,600 people. He's interviewed over, I'm sure, a couple hundred or a thousand people. So combined, we're multiple thousands of successful celebrities, thought leaders, and billionaires we've interviewed between the two of us. And I can speak from my own experience, but a lot of wealthy people are not smart teachers. If someone's achieved a result, but they don't know how to teach you what they did, then you should not be trying to learn from them because they don't know how to teach. And that's the difference between Peter and I is, we have generated tens of millions of dollars helping people build their business. It's what we do. Where some people have built a business and then try to teach people how they did it, but they are so far removed from even doing it, they can't even help you if you're at six or seven figures because they're at hundreds of millions and the gap is so <clears throat> big between you and them that it's hard for them to give you any advice that's relative to where you're at because they're so far ahead of you where Peter and I might be like, four chapters ahead, five chapters ahead. We're not on 75 books ahead because we're not billionaires yet. We don't have $700 million yet. Those guys actually hire us to help them on the internet, help us, have us get paid money to help them build their business because they even they don't know what they're doing on the internet. They know what they're doing at 700 million, but unless you're at 200 million and you need help getting to 700 million, you probably shouldn't invest. So if you're at 250,000 or 500,000 or 1 million or 2 million or 3 million and you wanna get even bigger on the internet, then we can help you probably better than anybody else on the planet. That's my point. And we've been in masterminds and, and I'm, the biggest thing that used to bug me, Mark, and we'll let you guys go, thank you so much for spending your time with us. If you just wanna learn more and see if it's for you, and we're being very, very transparent and blunt, it's probably not for most people to watch this video. Hope you got some value and I hope you, you got something that you could take with you that you'll remember, that you can execute, that will help you. But you know who you are if you feel like this is for you. But the reality is, I, I wanna make sure people understand. If you click the link below or go to gcinnercircle.com slash mastermind, you can learn all about it. But the reality is, for me, the thing that frustrated me was every mastermind, most of the ones I was a part of, and there's some that are 
five, 10, 15 times the price of ours that were just mindset stuff. And the guys who host those are our clients. That we, yeah, they, they pay us, <laughs> but just mindset Which stuff. Which is so funny. The guys who host the biggest masterminds in the world, not all of them obviously, but pay a lot us of to them help with are actually brands. our clients. Yeah. So the, it's just mindset stuff. This is not a mindset mastermind. Yes, you will elevate your mindset, but this is a tactical, dive in your business, be in the trenches mastermind. We don't let people leave till they have exactly what they need and they have clarity. And if you don't have clarity, you shouldn't. It's not for you. Clarity is for people that have been where you wanna go so they can help you develop the clarity. You don't have, I don't have clarity right now of how I'm gonna to get to 100 million. Now, I have some clarity, but I hire people or get around higher level people that have been there so they can cut my learning curve in half. So this is about tactics and being as relevant and comprehensive and new and innovative as possible to where you get the best strategies and techniques. We're gonna share that with you guys. Also, there's three in-person events. We have an amazing spot in the Hollywood Hills for the first event. It's gonna most likely be in October, maybe November. We have another event next year you get access to that's gonna be in San Diego and then we have one Plus here everything at that we this do. house. Plus everything that we do at all, you get access to. You get so access to. Any of our programs, summits, workshops, anything that you see us being a part of, it's all accessible to anybody who's inside of our GCIC mastermind. You get access to us. And so the coolest part to reiterate one more time about what makes this different is I can tell you, you can go look up the 50, 60, 70, 100K, 200K masterminds. There's a good chance, there's a good chance the people teaching those things are us or our peers or our clients. The people hosting them are our clients. Messaging us for advice on how to help Close. market their stuff, how to help do their business. And I say that with all love and respect, so much love and respect. And I'm letting people out there know the reality of the situation is sometimes people are so big that they write checks to solve their problems. And because they're so big, they can get a following that's massive. They can get all the marketing that's relate. massive. And the guys behind the scenes doing that are us. Those checks are being written to us to help build their following, to build their marketing, to do all of the things that make them where they're at because they've made hundreds of millions on a different business. Now they're getting into the personal brand thought leadership education business and it's amazing, amazingly just so blessed and grateful that those people see us as experts that they want to pay money to, to help us build their big things. And so when you just understand how this business works, there might be people who have more money than us and they're paying that money to us to get them to, to help their brands and their marketing and their business. And so just understand where the actual hierarchy works and who's actually helping a lot of the biggest people on the internet. We're just kind of, we're here to help you and to have you understand that there's certain opportunities available where the same things that we're doing and we can pull the curtain back and show you exactly the things we're doing for some of the biggest businesses and personal brands and thought leaders on the internet. We can do the same thing for you guys. And that's all this really is. This is an opportunity that out of demand from his hundreds of thousands and my hundreds of thousands of email subscribers, social media subscribers, amazing people around the world telling us that they want access to us for an entire year and an intimate environment, the ability to text us and call us, the ability to be part of everything that we do. That this you is the want most in-depth thing I do. I don't know about you. It's this the most the in-depth thing. thing I do. In unless, you, unless you pay me hundreds of thousands of dollars because you're one of those big guys and you write me those checks and give me a percentage of everything that you do and behind the scenes I'm doing it all and then everyone sees you as the guy, that's the only thing higher than what we're talking about here is that unless you're gonna pay me a quarter million bucks and a percentage of everything you do, there's only, the only thing second to that would be this mastermind. And this is us showing you everything I'm doing at that level, pulling back the curtain, breaking down those campaigns, breaking down the marketing, just what you showing told, you everything. Just what you told people that you're doing for Jordan Belfort today was valuable. So guys, yeah. here's the deal. Check out gcinnercircle.com, um, gcinnercircle.com slash mastermind. I think they both lead to the same thing. Thank you so much for your time. I, I'm I want you to share your biggest breakthrough. I'm curious. What is your biggest breakthrough from this conversation we had that you're going to take action on? We're going to be in the comments commenting. Um, maybe if you need some advice or need some clarification, we're going to be in the comments helping you out. Share your biggest breakthrough below. We appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And we look forward to seeing you on the other side. 
Hey, what's up guys? If you like this video, I think you'll really enjoy these videos right here. And also, please make sure you subscribe. Hit the subscribe button below. We have a lot of amazing content coming out. See you guys soon.